Well, the sun is going down. And the fire <clears throat> is dying out. So in a little bit, I'm going to pour some water. The wind completely died down. It does every afternoon. I'm going to be saying goodbye to this spot. I don't think I'm coming back here. <clears throat> like I said, the area is completely thick. It used to be walkable. Now forget about it. <clears throat> Sunset. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. I brought here my nephews, my uncles, <laughs> everybody. My wife. Uh, well, good morning. A nice clear day, 41, no, 37 degrees. That's yeah, about half an hour, it's probably 40 already. And I talked to some hunters that came over to the camp, and right in that mountain, which is, uh, I understand, is crowded with hunters, <clears throat> they caught three deer. And it's all downhill. <clears throat> I'm going to go check it out. I haven't been in that area in a long time. Just out of curiosity to see how it uh, it looked. Because that that whole thing used to be really thick with uh, with trees. But it burned years ago. So um, they probably have better visibility. And they can see the deer, approach it, and shoot it. I hunted this whole back hill. This whole... Uh, Two hills over. It's it's very nice uh, and everything, but there's no food. I noticed that there's no food. And the deer like to be where the food is <clears throat> or nearby. So the strategy is that um, go where the food is and, and also uh, water, which I heard that that's what's going on over there. <clears throat> so I'm going to check it out. I haven't been there like... 20 years, 25 years on that side. This is a huge county. This is, this, this, these, D8, it's, it's humongous. You're never going to hunt it in your lifetime. It's humongous. So, um, I suggested for them to go to another place that I know. They're going to check it out. On my way out to the other zone, I'm going to check it out also. Just to, to see what's happening. So, yeah let's see what's going on on the next one i'm gonna i'm gonna already clean up the uh the camper and i'm gonna bring it down bring it down the pop still gotta pick up the chairs and stuff all right later okay so i found this spot that i hunted before and uh pretty close to the road and I decided to just with my Civic skivvies walked in with with regular shoes and then I brought my gun and I got to this point I said what the hell am I doing I got all this gear why don't I leave it in the truck so I went and got it got my pack got the binoculars and I'm coming back for the for the rifle I didn't I even put on my hunting boots because those shoes were gonna get destroyed over here with the rocks. So and I put on my my lucky Wyoming gloves. Let's see if they if they do give me luck. Just gonna walk away and then sit. So I went back for the pack. It's got snacks. It's got the knives. 
it's got the uh, Gatorade and everything. So, and uh, there's another guy, there's a vehicle on the road, there's another guy up here. I don't know if he's, uh, he's on the other side of the road or I can't see any orange. I don't want to be in his way. You know, I wouldn't like that if somebody comes up with the, where I'm hunting and she just sits by me a few yards away. You gotta have some hunting ethics. And a few years ago, a guy just did just that. I'm sitting on the hill, he comes up and he stands about 20 feet and I say, hey, I'm hunting over here. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, I me, mean, uh, you know. And I feel like telling him, get the hell out of here. This is a beautiful country. That's the wilderness over there. Let's see. I'm going to go up to the little crest. All right. Later. Okay, so this is my spot. I took my hat off because it's hot. Well, it's, I'm hot from walking, so I'm in a good area. I'm secluded behind this brush, and then I have a good view all the way around. And from here to that hill, it's 450, and the one behind it is 513. So I'm going to sit here with my gear. I've got the Go pots and my, my shooting shooting sticks. There is a vehicle parked over there, and they're probably walking that area, which I don't mind. Now walking in, I heard a shot from behind that hill, real close. And then two minutes later, a second shot. So I don't know if they finish off the deer or they missed. But he didn't run this way. I know that. There's a lot of people driving up and down. A lot of people hunting. And, and asking me, have you seen anything? I said, I haven't seen nothing, not even a doe. So some people are road hunting. They're just driving and driving. And that's one way of doing it, too. I wish I had a little Jeep so I can do that. Uh, all right. All right, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this view. And hopefully something will move in my direction later. Okay, I just heard a very loud shot coming from that hill, which is about a thousand yards. That was a very loud shot. So it's right over the edge, right over the ridge. Okay. Man, that hill, that mountain, huh? That's a lot of deer. I'm hearing a lot of shooting from that area. Nothing on this side. So, patience, patience. So, one thing about the backpack, it becomes a comfortable recliner. Because, you know, you're sitting and you hunched over and you start, you know, back aches. And, but this is perfect. I'm reclined right to it. Okay, guys. In about an hour, I'm going to be in full sun, so I'm going to have to move. I'm in the shade of these uh, three pine trees. So, I heard another shot from that side. And then, like four or five dirt bikes making noise going up that trail into the shooting area there's going to be an accident somebody's going to get shot so I've been scanning the hills and I want to talk about the mud pot this gadget is the best thing going The uh, you can adjust the legs up and down by this trigger 
up and down. And then you flip, you rotate this cup, the legs will come up. So I can put it around me like it is now. And then I can I can adjust it to see uh to put the and then I put the binoculars right there. And these binoculars are small, they kind of lock in. And then I can I can go ahead and tilt it. Tilt it down a little bit. And still be able to you know lock it in position. And I can scan real steady all that all that mountainside. And you know when you're when you're looking with binoculars, your your heart uh beat is moving you and you really can't get a steady a steady view so you gotta hold your breathing you gotta hold it tight you gotta lean against your chest all kinds of things so this thing has really been a big uh, a big help in 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 scanning far away uh, if you have a tripod uh, yeah that'll help too but this is also a tripod and if you have a spotting scope you can see very far away with a tripod very steady now i got a friend that he's got a 10 by no a 12 by 50 big binoculars he says he doesn't bother with the spotting scope but with that he can see a lot closer and I'm going, yeah, but you can also pull the sock, the eyes out of your sock. <laughs> it's a 12 by 50. Now these are 10, and it, it's good, you know. I've never looked through. Uh, I think there's also a 15. I never looked through a 15. But if you don't want to buy a spotting scope, that that kind of binocular would be the way to go. But they're big and heavy, and they're gonna be slamming in your chest all the time when you're walking or if you have a, a a little pouch like this one here you know i put my glasses in there and then i can use the binoculars all right let's keep uh, watching Later. okay so i've been here for i don't know two hours nothing to be moving i've been studying the terrain and there are actually no trails deer trails on this hill. There's a couple of trails that they look like they, they were old motorcycle trails. But as far as deer trails, there aren't any. And you can tell when the area has been used frequently. Now a deer can hop across it, escaping from danger. Doesn't mean there will be no deer, but if there's no trail, this is not an area they prefer to be. And why waste any more time now, if I was a buck, I'd be hiding up there, behind that that crest, be, behind those rocks. Uh, nobody, well, I don't know, there's a guy hunting, I don't know if he's back there. But uh, a lot of people don't go up there. Uh, there's only one vehicle there, and who knows where he's at. But we're going to try another area later on. All right. Let's get my walking stick and let's get going later. Oh, okay, so I'm going into this trail that I haven't been in <laughs> a long, long time ago. I don't even remember how it ends, but I did see some deer uh, a ways back in. It's only a mile and a half. Let me show you what we got. The road is not too bad. You can do this with a regular pickup. I'm not even on four wheel drive. I don't think I need it here. Now I heard a lot of shots coming out of this mountain. And I talked to some hunters and they said there was a there was a lot of people at the at this mountain so I don't know if they're still there 
but they caught like three deer out of this mountain. So we'll see. Ooh. You know what, just so I don't abuse the transmission, let me put this on four high. If I can see down there. Okay, put it on neutral. Crank it there. It's not catching. There. All right, now. There we go. I don't know if it's four high or four low. It's fine. So we'll see what the uh, what's at the end of this road. We still got to go up another uh, close to a mile. So, oh, there's a big log in the middle here. It, it almost crossed the road. Yeah, this this one here you need four-wheel drive, and this and this piece right here. So, let me uh, turn off and get back on when I get to the top. All right, later. Okay, so I talked to some guys down there. They're packing up and they're leaving. He's, he says that they saw a spike and a few does. But I always wanted to go to the end of this road. I don't think I ever have, so I'm doing it. And now I have to put it on four-wheel uh, four drive low because it's a little uh, on an incline. And it, I'm not gonna call it gnarly, but you know, I have it on first gear. May, that might be too low. Let me switch it to manual and go to second see what happens okay, go to third it's a little quicker so there's a there's a fork down there that it goes to the right and it basically dead ends uh, it, it doesn't have an overview and I wanted to go to the top so that's why I took this uh, this side road and I I also lowered I also lowered the air down to 55 pounds because I had it at 70 and, pounds. and I think 55 is still too high I might have to go down to 40 to give it a more cushion cushion right I got, I got room here to turn if I need to. I can just go over the side uh, of the hill. So let's see where this thing goes. Okay, now this is not the road where the encampment of the... Oh, there's the guys down there. Uh, I don't know if you can tell the white vehicle. They're packing up to leave. And this is not the road that the... Uh, where the guys uh, that are hunting the deer that is further down on another trail. I just want to explore this one. Usually, if I'm going to be doing this kind of exploring, I like to bring the quad, not to beat up the truck. But the trail is it's wide; it's not even overgrown with bushes, so they can scratch the paint. It might be in some places, but after all, this is a 
what I call an expedition vehicle. Okay, I'm gonna turn off for now. Later. Okay, so the road's supposed to be a mile and a half, and it's beyond that point because I took a turn off. I took a the fork on the left. Fork on the right was supposed to be uh, within a hundred yards, and it was done, or maybe less, fifty yards, and it was done. I think I saw the end of it, but I took this fork. And I've been going driving, driving, driving. It's, the road's getting narrow, narrow, narrow. And basically, there's no place to turn except back, back there. There's a little slope on the hill. I can back into that, turn around, and, and leave, and go to the next spot. But before doing that, I decided to get off and do a little reconnoitering and uh, and see what's around the bend. Everything here is very steep and uh, yeah, the, where that trunk is, right there I'm going to make a, I'm going to back up in there and, and turn, big, turn Big Blanco around, which is not easy. I used to do it with the blazer real easy, short, short, base, short wheelbase on the blazer. So. I don't think I've ever been on this road. And I've been uh, thinking that before I abandon this sport, the day that I, have, I won't have the energy or the strength or anything, I, I want to be able to explore every road in this zone, which is huge. <laughs> it's huge. So. Yeah, I see the road when I was there last year. And let's see what's around the corner. I don't know if you can tell, you know, I don't have the zoom, but over there, there's a, there's a little cul-de-sac. And I was camped there checking out these hills. And that was about uh, two years ago. And then this morning, I was, let's see, if I can, uh, okay, this morning I was up in that ridge over there, and I can see all, all this side here. So I see there's a good view now, there's a good spot to sit and wait in the morning. It's the middle of the day now, so you're not going to have any deer moving in the middle of the day unless they're being sh shot at it and pushed, but it's pretty quiet over here. I don't think there's nobody else. And as you can tell, the road keeps going. It goes down here. It goes through there. There's a little flat area that I can, you know, I can keep going and driving over to that point. Uh, get another view of the uh, other side if you don't explore you will learn and you will not find better areas that's a promising spot if you ask me and uh, being that it's so remote a lot of people avoid it there's a lot of roads to choose from you know, I mean, those guys were camped halfway down the mountain. They, they could have come all the way up here and had this area. They probably never took that fork on the left. All right, let me go back to the truck and continue. Okay, so we got to the end. The little spot I was saying to turn around is actually a colder sack. 
I can turn around here easy. There's a fire ring there indicating that people used to camp here. Even though it's a, it's on a windy side, it's wide open, there's no trees. Let's take a look. So that's a very nice huntable side uh, ridge up there. Pretty open, you can see any gang moving. Same thing on this side. I like this hill even better. very open I'm sure deer will pick an area like this to hide in beautiful view that's one thing about this tape that it's uh, the only thing keeping me here are the mountains the ocean, yeah, it's nice, but these mountains are beautiful. Now, when it gets to the point that my knees won't take it anymore, I'll say, I'll move out of, <laughs> I'll move out of here and go to another street. There's another road down there. And it, it ends up, I think I've been on that. Yeah. With the quad one time I went there. And then you go down, there's a trail that goes down to the bottom. Now the shooting that I've heard is from the next mountain that we can't see from here, it's on the other side. I could spot it from over there, it's on the other side of this one. And the guy told me that they call it Tacoma Point because most of the hunters there got Toyotas. So I want to go check it out, why not? Oh, this is one thing I don't like about some hunters, that they leave trash behind. And you know, it's only two cans. I'll pick it up. I'm not gonna say who they are, but I have a feeling who they are because I'm not gonna say anything more. I gotta open the back door. Can't have him inside the car because they're gonna say, "Oh, open container, dig it," you know. So I gotta toss it in the back of the back of the camper. Actually, I'm gonna put them on the side storage. Wait, people, if you're drinking a beer, go ahead. But why do you have to dump the can on the floor? On the ground. Get in there with my my fishing gear. All right, that's my good deed for the day. All right, I'm gonna turn off and turn around and then go to the next road, which is gonna be a good uh, seven miles. But this is nice. I could camp here. Even it's a little windy though. About the camper here, gonna be blowing like crazy. There's a trail goes up and around. I can check that out. It's not that steep, it's easy to walk. That's another new area for the future. Later.